So this last point probably was just some good bedroom fun and some attention. That right there makes it worth it for all those both babes. They get played by chads numerous times, but you know, it's just that butterflies and the roller coaster of emotions they can't live without. So they are willing to go on dating apps to date multiple men at once. They are willing to chase Chad for years at a time, you know, and to not invest into uh, the good guys that are filling their DMs. No, it's all about the butterflies, and so they keep chasing Chad, and so they keep ending at 30. And nobody wants them at 30 when, you know, nobody wants to pick up the pieces. So yeah. But what is going on, guys? Let's take a look at today's cringe. Let's see if the dog will make it throughout this video. Like, no joke. On a daily basis, I get men and my DMs ask me, Why don't you answer me? Why don't you answer me? I get a total of 48 hours free for my mini humans every two weeks. Of those 48 hours, I spend 8 hours transporting them to and from their dads. So, like, that's not a lot of free time, and I don't always want to be spending it talking to men. Shocking, I know. <laughs> and also, like, are y'all so aggressive with all women? Like, sometimes we just don't be wanting to talk to y'all. You know, it's shocking. But, like, men that are not understanding of single mom schedules, that's why y'all get ignored. Just in case you didn't realize, in case that was, like, a mystery, that's why you're getting ignored. You know what's a mystery to me? How there can still be men out there interested in dating a single mother and filling their DMs and just wasting their time and attention, you know, for single entitled mothers. I don't understand that. That's the real mystery. Because you don't get it. Reverse Google image searching. Am I in the wrong for this or do you guys think I'm rather smart? Last week I got talked into joining a dating service and I'm not talking $9.99 you boost your Bumble profile. I am talking I spent my entire month's salary in hopes to find love. The Gee. <laughs> guys, imagine being a woman and having to spend money to find love. <laughs> Just go to the nearest coffee shop and most likely someone will hit you up before you reach it. Or create a dating profile with a picture of a woman and you're done. I really don't understand why people who have dating on recruit difficulty are wasting money on whatever crap. You know, it reminds me of that woman we covered who spent 20k on the same thing. First meeting is like they had to set up a profile for me, get all my photos, and basically talk about like what has worked and not worked when it comes to relationships in the past, which I haven't ever been in one. So I kind of had to like make some stuff up. Today I get on a Zoom with my matchmaker who's going to be presenting me my first group of guys, like The Bachelor. While she sends me their profiles, which is their photo, age, and name, she tells me a little bit about them, like their further profile, what their likes are or their interests. What she doesn't realize is that what I'm really doing on the other side of the screen is a reverse image Google search. So I could find out their resume, where they work. I found one of the guy's addresses, what their likes are. Are they philanthropic? Their Instagram, if they have one, their LinkedIn. And I was going through all of this. One guy was an immediate no because of some stuff that I found in the Google image reverse. And then the other guy was immediate yes. Now he did lie on his hype, but I found another picture of him and he's eating at one of my favorite restaurants. So I feel like we have that in common. And he actually does a lot for the community. And it looks like he's very philanthropic from what I'm seeing on his Instagram. When I had to tell the matchmaker why I wasn't into the other guy. Guys, wait a minute. I feel like I'm listening, man, to some 10-year-old uh, girl, you know? And you ask a 10-year-old girl what type of you know, guys she likes, and she'll be like, oh, I want someone who, you know, watches My Little Pony and someone who likes uh, pizza because I love pizza. And uh, I like someone who can play with my toys and whatever crap. This is a 30-year-old woman. And her preferences, man, are so stupid. Like, oh, yeah, he ate at that restaurant that I really like. So, yeah, that's a good thing. And, uh, well, he lied about his height, but whatever. Like, what are those bullcrap standards <laughs> it's so stupid man I reveal that i was doing reverse image google searching and i don't think she really likes that and it's like well how would you feel if they did that to you well they're gonna find the tiktok okay and i'm proud of it what do you think because i i'm proud of it she says 
if any man you date finds this TikTok, they're not gonna be particularly proud, trust me. I get 12 dates. Do you think I'm wrong for doing further research and making sure that the 12 dates that I'm paying for are the most premium possible that I would be into? Or do you guys think that I should trust the matchmakers and give these guys a chance? Let me tell you what I think, ma'am. Uh, I think that a successful guy who is above six feet, making a lot of money, handsome, philanthropic, and all those things you mentioned, uh, all the requisites you have, will not need to pay for matchmakers to find him a date. You see? For the same reason that women don't need matchmakers, they get attention and chances already. But let's say there is one. Let's say there is an attractive, rich, tall, good guy that is paying for a matchmaker, maybe because he doesn't have time to be looking for dates. What makes you think that you will be the, the, you know, the chosen one? Right? If there is a nine... Uh, out of 10 men who is looking for a partner, why would he settle for a 30-year-old who clearly doesn't meet his level? You are wasting your money and time on nonsense. You know, you can be Sherlock Holmes if you want to uh, do your research, investigate, uh, Google search, whatever. It won't help you keep a man. I mean, hell, it won't even help you uh, get a date with a, with a high-value man. I think that I should trust the matchmakers and give these guys a chance. So I'm just going to touch on a few things that I will be considering when I am dating again. So first things first, I'm not playing house anymore. I don't want to move in with you. No, you cannot move in with me. We're just not going to do that. I feel like playing house is a very gray area and it can come, it can become very confusing and I want things to be as clear as possible. So no playing house. So this one is the main reason why I have not jumped out of one relationship and going directly into another is because I need to actually figure out and be able to vocalize what I want out of a relationship. So on the back end, I can know exactly what I don't want because a lot of people go in there knowing what they don't want, but it's like, okay, so what do you want? So make sure you know exactly what you want out of a relationship and from a person so you can be able to have those type of conversations. For me personally, this goes as a no-brainer, but have serious conversations in the beginning. I think at this big age, what you doing all day is just outdated. Do not what you doing mean to death. Have those conversations, those serious conversations, uncomfortable conversations in the beginning. So you can know how serious this man is about this one life that we have, what type of goals, how he was raised, all of that good stuff. Have those conversations in the beginning. Don't waste time. And if he does wrong by you in the talking stage, please don't upgrade him. Do not upgrade him to the next phase if he can't get it together in this whole talking dating stage. He's showing you who he is. Believe him. And lastly, you don't play about you so that he'll know not to play about you. Because the moment that you can, that you start playing about who you are and what you will and will not tolerate, consider a game on. So I want to talk about... You know, who wants to be upgraded by this woman anyway, gentlemen? Is anyone interested? Some women will act really wise on TikTok like they have figured the hidden secrets and formulas to partnership. Uh, if you were a nice person and didn't mess around in your 20s, you will probably be married at this point, you know, instead of making stupid TikToks while putting on makeup. And anyway, gentlemen, like, what type of men will be interested in dating this woman? I mean, men have figured out that, the, uh, <laughs> that you know, that the juice is really not worth the squeeze. Or it was the other way around, I forgot. Anyway, you got me. Like, men are grinding. Men are working on their jobs, men are going to the gym, you know, men are living their lives. Uh, they have found, you know, interest in their hobbies, uh, they're chasing their aspirations. Who wants to be upgraded by some random, you know, average woman? I just really don't understand how <laughs> women like this have not figured out that the world doesn't revolve around them. So I want to talk about something that's been really, really annoying me lately. This is going to be, it's about men, but single mom version. 
So something that's been getting under my skin is men not understanding what it means to be a single mom. So as a single mom, a single working mom, I have my plate full to the maximum. Men understand what it means to be a single mother, they just don't care. Why should a man be bothered to deal with the problems that come with single mothers when they could just avoid it, you know? So, for example, this, she says, uh, as a single mother, I have my plate full to the maximum. Why should men put up with you when you don't have time? You're compromised by a lot of factors when they could just date a woman in her 20s who, who doesn't have all these problems. Single mothers really need to understand that their value in the dating market plummets after having a kid. So, you know, take your, your standards down a notch. But no, instead they act all entitled, like they are the prize, like they own the world. Right? I don't have free time. The time that I do have free, I just want to relax. So one, I get it. I'm single. Yes. Do I want to date? Sure. If I meet the right person, right? But if you invite me out for a dinner um, or drinks, especially during the weeknight, come on. You know I have things to do. I'm sure you have things to do the next day. I have a child to take care of. I can't just go out late at night just whenever, right? Um, so you have to take that into consideration. So if you're really going to invite me out, one, make it worth my time. And what do I mean by make it worth my time? Just, just don't invite me out to dinner and drinks. Get creative. Invite me out for an activity. Do something different. Do something that's going to be worth my time and effort. Yeah, guys. She is the one sent by the Lord himself to bring salvation and joy into this planet. Better make it worth her while. She is an angel, you see, and her company is worth the finest diamond. <laughs> I swear, you can't make this up. The people that have the least to offer and the biggest downsides to dating them are at the same time the most entitled ones. Isn't that crazy? I am taking time out of my evening to meet with you, to go and enjoy your company, you know, to see how things work, if we're compatible. I'm making an effort, so I expect you to make an effort. So don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere, because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. <laughs> so you also have to pay for the babysitter in order to have the privilege of meeting her. Uh, sorry, man, but why don't I get a, you know, street worker instead? It's less expensive, gets the job better done, less of a headache, is free whenever I please. You know, just for the kitty, you're making men go through all that crap. This is bull crap, man. And if someone tells me, oh, but she's not looking for S3X, she wants something serious. Again, why would any man want to play from another man's safe pile? Why would any man pay full price for a second-hand car? Oh, because her personality is so worth it, don't you see? <laughs> Dream wife right there. It's crazy, man, how, how delusional some individuals are. Also, and offer to pay for the babysitter. That's going to make me more receptive to want to go and spend my time with you. And another thing. Do not just assume that you can invite me and my daughter out. No, I do not introduce my daughter to guys. That's a no-no. So there's that. And also, don't just assume that you're going to invite me out for drinks and I'm going to show up. Um, what makes you think that I'm going to put my safety in jeopardy by drinking and driving? So unless you're going to offer to pick me up and drop me off or Uber me there and back, it's a no on the drinks during the week. Okay, gentlemen, let's do some math on the channel. Uh, imagine you take this girl out for, let's say, two hours. Uh, you have to pay two hours for the babysitter, which, honestly, I don't know how much it is. Let's say a minimum of $10 an hour. Then you have to pay for her Uber, you know, to get her there and, there, and then back to her house, or you have to take her with your own car. Uh, honestly, I don't know in the USA how much the gallon of, uh, you know, how much the gallon is, but it's hella expensive right now. Then, of course, you also have to pay for the for the dinner or whatever you have. Like, just do the math, gentlemen, and ask yourself the question: Why would I pay this amount to date a single mother who is thirty? It's just it just doesn't make sense. The amount of things you can do with that money, 
instead of wasting it on a person who is probably not gonna give you anything in return like there are high chances uh she won't give you the bedroom fun after the date which i'm not saying uh you know you are entitled to her body i'm just saying you know if i'm paying that amount of money and i'm still not getting anything in return uh well why wouldn't i spend it just on a street walker you know i can get a premium street walker if what i want is bedroom fun or i can just spend that money on another woman who can actually give me something in return delusional Weak. so moral of the story is come on guys if she's a single mom she already has a lot on her plate so don't add to her plate don't make her life more stressful don't make her plan out the date that you want to take her on like that's not going to happen so all i'm going to say is do better and to everyone asking me out on freaking dates lately literally if the shoe fits then it fits okay so all right Gemma. you know i gotta agree with her i gotta agree with her on the the plate thing um single mothers already have a large plate so don't add to it gentlemen just leave them be and leave them eat their plate alone and forever but that will be it gentlemen thank you for watching you know god bless tiktok and god bless uh the internet because as disgusting as it may be without the internet we wouldn't be <laughs> yeah we wouldn't see all the cringe and all the unreasonable standards there will be still a lot of men out there who, who don't understand, you know, the, the state of affairs of, of, of the dating market. So God bless the internet. But leave me your comments down below, gentlemen, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.